High gas prices across the country continue to affect industries that use gas-powered vehicles. 13 News' Jake Morell tells us more about a local industry feeling the pain at the pump. We go out there with a fuel tender, and it'll take 500 gallon of fuel to fill those combines and grain cart tractors up. Well, 500 times you use, you pick a number, and that's every day. Farms spend a large amount of money on gas every week, and in just a few months, that spending has had to double. Maybe back in March when I was hauling my grain to the elevator, it was costing me $450 to fill up my semi, where today it's costing me well over 1000 Steve Frick, who is the president of the Winnebago Boone Farm Bureau, told us what the extra spending has done to his profits. We, we still had to pay for those high input costs early in the season. We're paying for high fuel now. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to see a shrink in our bottom line. Profits may be decreasing, but farmers are adapting. Local farmer Bill Ross explained to us what he's tried to do to conserve gas. We switched to uh, no tillage, so we make fewer passes across the field than a conventional farmer. Uh, so, so we are trying to save fuel in that respect. Despite the rising price to grow crops, both Frick and Ross said that the uptick in grocery prices is not because of them. Frick then reminded us to appreciate the agriculture industry. I think that our industry knows that we're a part of your life and we want to be that. When you see that big combine going through the field this fall or down the road blocking traffic, it, it's just uh, it's an expensive thing to run. Now, Both farmers also said they are optimistic about a good harvest this fall that could alleviate prices.